Hi everybody. Well, this is the last week of our videos that we're doing about Lent and Easter and all the special things that happened during this time. So today I would want to say a big hello to all our Sunday School class from Cook. Hi! And so I want to say hello to Alejandro, to Lucia, to James and Cara, to Evie, Ella, Amelia, Olivia and Hugh, to Zoe, Isla and Ella, and to Tommy as well. So I hope you guys are all enjoying the packs and everything that's with the packs and especially the wee treats. And I also have to say a special hello to a boy called Ross. Hello Ross. Hiya. Hiya Ross as he's watching with his Nana. And I hope that you're all enjoying the videos and I hope you're all learning plenty about God during this time. So I miss you all and I hope to see lots more photographs of you all and we're gonna start this week's talk. Now, don't forget that the talks are all from the Bible and especially out of the Gospels, which is Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and that's the four Gospels in the Bible. Now I have a special friend and she's only three and she lives with her mommy and daddy and her big sister and they live in a farm near Carrick Fergus. Now this farm is not for growing fruit or vegetables, this farm is for sheep. And sometimes this girl comes into nursery school and I ask her about the sheep. Has there any wee lambs been born? Oh, tell me about the wee lambs. Tell me how many has been born this week. And she came into nursery last week and she told me that there was two lambs had been born. And it was very cold outside. So her daddy decided to bring the lambs into the house to keep them nice and warm and safe. But then the girl told me that one of the lambs died and it was so sad, so, so sad. One of the poor wee lambs, one of the poor wee clean white lambs had died. But the other lamb was okay, which was good. But this poor wee lamb had died. And it made me think that sometimes Jesus is called the lamb. Now, I'm sure you've heard Jesus being called the lamb before. And what used to happen was that the Jewish people would have sacrificed a lamb for all the bad things that they had done. So they would have got a pure white lamb that had no spots on it or no flaws on it. And they would have sacrificed this lamb. Well, that's why Jesus is called the lamb. Because he had done no sin. He had done no wrong things. He never told any lies. He never was cheeky to his mummy. He never left his toys lying about. Jesus was a spotless lamb. And that's why Jesus is known as the lamb of God. But the other reason why Jesus is known as the Lamb is because Jesus died on the cross. So when Jesus was sent to death on the cross by the bad people, Jesus hung on the cross between two men. Both of them were very, very bad. But yet Jesus was spotless. Jesus was sinless. And Jesus had done nothing at all wrong. When Jesus died, then a man called Joseph of Arimathea, that's a hard word to say isn't it? Arimathea. Joseph of Arimathea asked for the body of Jesus and so he was given the body of Jesus. Now it wasn't buried the way we bury people today. It was put into a big tomb and this big tomb would have been cut on the side of a rock and then the Romans said that to put
put a big stone in front of the entrance to this rock and this just stopped the um, people coming along who were going to maybe rob Jesus' body or take it away and hide it. So the Romans didn't want this. So they put a guard at the front of this tomb to make sure that nobody stole the body. But then Jesus' friends, Mary and Mary Magdalene, went up a couple of days later to just put spices on the body. But when they got up there, the stone had been rolled away and the guard was lying sleeping. And they went, where's Jesus? What, what has happened to Jesus' body? And an angel appeared and the angel told Mary Magdalene and the other Mary that Jesus had risen from the dead and to go and tell the disciples that Jesus had risen from the dead, that Jesus was no longer dead, that Jesus was alive. Now, that is a really good story, isn't it? That Jesus rose again from the dead. So even though on the Friday it was so sad because Jesus had died on the cross, but yet on the Sunday he had risen from the dead, God had raised him up and made him alive again. Wow, isn't that amazing? Isn't that fantastic? Well, I hope you'll remember that Jesus is risen. And I hope you remember that Jesus was a sacrifice for our sins. So he was called the lamb. And do you remember I said earlier on that sometimes a lamb was sacrificed by the Jewish people for the sins that they had committed. The lamb was killed. Well, so Jesus was dying for our sins. Now, does not show just how much God loves us, that he gave his only son, to die for our sins. My goodness, that is just amazing and it just makes me feel so loved and so thankful. Well, boys and girls, I hope that you are all thankful and you are all saying thanks to God on Easter Sunday whenever you're eating your Easter eggs and whenever you're having a nice time with your parents. But did you remember that on the Friday Jesus died for you, for all the bad things that you did. And when you ask him into your heart to make it all nice and clean again, and you will be in heaven with him someday. Well, I hope you all are enjoying the four weeks. I have really enjoyed them too. And thank you so much to everybody for sending in your photographs and your brilliant drawings, absolutely amazing at some of the things that you have made. So, so better than mine, far better than mine. Absolutely amazing. Well, I hope you all have a lovely Easter and take care. In your packs this week, as well as finding your crosses, you'll also find one of these. And it's just a wee game that you can play. So to make sure that you all understand how to fold it up, I'm just going to give you a quick show. We've made them in Sunday school before, but um, I thought I would show you. So very carefully, you need to cut around the outside with all the black lines. You might need that to help you. And then you're just going to fold where the black lines are. Everywhere you just see a black line, you just make a wee fold. It doesn't really matter what way you do it.
So then after you make the folds, you're just going to um, start putting it all together. these all in <coughs> Excuse me. and then whenever you put them all together like this you'll be able to play your game Oops. I didn't do one of my folds very well but these will all be far better than, the, at this than me and just remember that if anybody doesn't have a pack even though this is the last week, if anybody doesn't have a pack, you can still ask for one and do it over your Easter holidays if you think it's going to be raining. Hopefully not. So there you go. There's your wee birdie bake to play your game. Now, this week, if you don't have a pack and you want to do your cross, we're doing on the crosses. He is risen and the cross when Jesus died. And if you want to do it on your cross, you could do a big cross like this. Inside your own cross. And this one has a wee wreath around it, so, or, a wee crown of thorns around it. So I'll put a crown of thorns around mine. I'll just do it in green and then black. There we go. So there's my crown of thorns. And then I'm going to do uh, a tomb as well. And I'm just going to do this in black as well, but you can do it in a better colour and have it all nicely coloured in and have it all really nice. So you want to show that the tomb is empty and that the stone was rolled away. So we'll just draw a wee table. Like Jesus was laid out on in the tomb. There we go. And then I just colour this in grey to show the tomb. And that's the big stone. And I'll do the inside of the tomb because it would have been dark. So we'll do it a darker brown. Oops. And the pencil book, so I'll use my felt tip instead. And I'm sure that yours are all amazing and that they are so much neater than mine. So there we go. That is your cross finished if you don't have a pack and if you have a pack then very carefully cut out your cross and your tomb. and you can colour them in And 
and stick them on. So because my crayon broke, I'm having to use this felt tip. But you could use um, other things to make the, the cross look like real wood because don't forget it would have been a wooden cross that Jesus would have been on when he died with the wooden cross that they crucified him on. So you could do something to make it look like real wood. You could colour in lollipop sticks or find twigs and put it in the shape of a cross. And then I'm going to colour in the green for the grass of the hill. And as you can see, I didn't cut that out very well, but you can cut it far better than what I can. There we go. And then we're going to put it on, I think we'll put it, hmm, my bread's a bit bigger on this one. I think we'll put it on here in the middle. I've forgotten the glue, so I can't glue it on, but you get the idea. And then the he is risen. So it has a wee pink flower. Well, I'm going to make mine pink. I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to have a... Let me see. Where did I get that? And the grey for the stone. I wonder, did any of you put your stones anywhere yet? I've heard of a couple of boys and girls who have went out walks and left their stones. And I wonder where you put them. And then we're going to have green leaves. And then I'll do the rest of the stone grey as well. And could you imagine how big that stone was to be rolled away? It would have been so, so big and so heavy. rich purple for the king as Jesus is our king now I think that I will put mine down here do you think it looks okay I'm sure yours are far far better but so we have whoops sorry so we have this is it finished now so we have the palm leaf for Palm Sunday. We then have the disciples and Jesus having the Last Supper and don't forget this is why we celebrate communion. Then we have Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane praying with the disciples and how important it is for us to pray to God and then we have Jesus dying on the cross and then we have him rising from the dead now that is so amazing so such a sad time as jesus dying on the cross and then he rises from the dead and what a wonderful experience that is to know that jesus is with us always so i'm going to write on my cross so i'm going to write he is what do you think i'm going to write now so he so we're talking about jesus so jesus is risen very good have to make sure i spell it right there we go he is risen 
and I'm sure that your crosses are so much better looking than mine and that you don't forget glue or anything like that. So there you go, there's your cross finished and I hope you enjoyed doing it. Well, I hope that you have all enjoyed these past couple of weeks and what we've learned about Jesus is what I've enjoyed it. I hope you've all enjoyed the crafts and the treats and I hope you've all enjoyed spending time with maybe your mum or dad whenever they maybe help you cut out things. But most importantly, I hope that you've enjoyed learning about Jesus and everything that he has done for us and how much God wants us to talk to him, wants us to be in a family with him and wants us to love him. So let's all pray together hands apart, together and under your chin. Father God, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for us. And we thank you that Jesus rose again from the dead on the third day on Easter Sunday when we celebrate it. And we thank you that you are God who loves us, each one of us, no matter how big or how small that we are, that you love us so much. And we just thank you for everything you do for us. In Jesus' name.